The world is filled with beautiful places to visit from shore to shore. But what about the anomalies of the world? Nature doesn't always do things by the book, and there are a few creepy, strange and seemingly impossible places to prove it. So, without further ado, here are scientifically impossible places that actually exist. Before we get started, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Let's begin. Movilla Cave In southeastern Romania, there's a cave that was locked away from the slightest ray of light for an estimated 5.5 million years, and that has a completely different atmosphere from the Earth. The cave was discovered by workers looking to set up a power plant. They tested the ground to see if it was a safe place to build and cracked open a pathway that leads into one of the strangest places on Earth. If you descend through the narrow shaft and pass a series of tunnels, you enter a chamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of rotten eggs. The air there is toxic, filled with hydrogen sulfide and contaminated with 100 times the surface level of carbon dioxide. The strangest part, though, is that a whole ecosystem has survived inside. Researchers have found 33 species inside the cave that don't exist anywhere outside of it. They've adapted to survive in a sulfuric atmosphere living by feeding off a foam on top of the stones. Cliff Eggs This is certainly the case with one rock cliff in China's Guizhou province called Changda Ya, which has been baffling geologists for decades. No one seems to be able to explain the unusual stone formations it creates every 30 years. The Mandarin name Changda Ya translates to egg-laying cliff, and it's just as bizarre as the name would suggest. This 65-foot-long formation has been mysteriously sprouting stone eggs for generations, and no one has been able to explain why. According to Shui people from the local Gulusai village nearby, the egg formations take 30 years to develop. Villagers have known about this strange phenomenon for generations, and many of them journey to the cliff to touch the god eggs, believing that they bring good luck. In fact, nearly every one of the 125 Shui families who live in the Gulusai village have at least one of the eggs displayed in their home for worship, and there are plenty more scattered throughout the village as a sign of good luck and prosperity. Growing Idol Located in the Karnul district, Yaganti, India, is a popular shrine of Lord Shiva that sees devotees thronging to it in large numbers every year. Interestingly, the Nandi statue set up here has seen a growth in its size over the years, and it's not a myth. Archaeological Survey of India has confirmed that the idol increases by one inch in every 20 years. Experiments suggest that the rock used to make the idol exhibits a growing nature. Another mystery surrounding this place is that, if legend is to be believed, a sage cursed the crows from entering the temple, and so no sign of crows can be seen here. Strange Magnetic Lake most tourists come to Aurangabad to visit the Ajanta and Ellora UNESCO World Heritage Sites, but never make it as far as Lonar. Lonar Lake is located four hours' drive from Aurangabad in the Buldana district in the state of Maharashtra, western India. It's not visited by many tourists because many people are unaware of this beautiful and mysterious place. In November 2004, NASA's Terra satellite acquired a great image of the mysterious lake. Scientists have long been puzzled by the strange electromagnetic disturbance in this area and have tried to find a cause. The lake's water is not normal and the lake itself appears to be completely misplaced. NASA scientists and Geological Survey of India officials have long wondered how Lonar Lake can exist and what's wrong with it. Lonar Lake is approximately 150 meters or 500 feet deep with an average diameter of almost 1,830 meters or 6,000 feet. The perfectly circular lake shows evidence of higher magnetic readings than the surrounding area. Lonar Lake has triggered scientists and officials to attempt answers to questions like, why is the lake alkaline and saline at the same time? Why does it support microorganisms rarely found elsewhere on Earth? Why do compasses fail to work in certain parts of the crater? And what lurks at the bottom? Geologists suggest that the lake could in fact be a meteor impact crater, Objects that came from space are generally more electromagnetic than material that they strike on terrestrial Earth. While examining the lake and water, local geologists found minerals and rock fragments that are formed when high-pressure, high-temperature metamorphism occurs. Scientists discovered unusual minerals like masculinite, a kind of naturally occurring glass that's only formed by extremely high-velocity impacts. So there is enough scientific evidence to state that Lonar Lake was formed when a 2 million ton meteorite moving with a speed of 90,000 kilometers an hour struck the Earth. 
When the impact occurred is uncertain, but scientists estimate it could have been between 35 and 50,000 years ago. It's the Earth's largest and only hypervelocity impact crater in basaltic rock, and this beautiful Lake Lanar can be described as a little-known astronomical marvel on Earth. A sea of stars The Maldives is the perfect holiday destination because of its beautiful and scenic beaches, crystal blue waters and sunny skies. But one particular island here becomes the epitome of heavenly beauty during the summer months. It's not every day you get to see waves crashing along the shores that are fringed with neon blue sparkles. This gives the impression of a miraculous night sky in the ocean. That's why it's called the Sea of Stars. About this phenomenon, scientists are unable to pinpoint what's causing this beautiful light glow. All they know is summer brings the ideal conditions for this to occur. It's definitely not real stars in the sea. Most probably, it's a bioluminescent phytoplankton known as the Lingulodinium polyandrum. These plankton produce light with the help of a chemical called luciferin, which gets activated as a stress response to unanticipated movement in the water. This is actually the plankton's very own burglar alarm, and it tries to scare away any predators getting close. Well, on the other hand, the same defense mechanism is attracting tourists to them, ironically. The Petrifying Well in Nasborough by North Yorkshire is a well that seems like something ripped out of a story by H.P. Lovecraft. It's a place where water trickles down a cliffside that looks like a skeleton's grinning face, and where anything you place under the water will turn to stone. The process usually takes three to five months, but you can leave anything you own under the trickling water, and when you return, it'll be stone. People have left everything, from teddy bears to bicycles there, and everyone has been transformed into a statue. For a long time, people believed that the well was cursed by a witch. Scientists today, though, have found that the water just has an unusually high mineral content. As a result, it creates a hard mineral shell over anything it touches, just like how stalactites are formed in caves. The Ringing Rocks At the top of a hill in Pennsylvania, there's a field full of strange rocks, and nobody knows why they're there. There's no higher cliffside nearby, so they couldn't have fallen through a landslide, and the natives that knew about it before European settlers arrived believed it to be a natural phenomenon. Their being there is hardly the strangest part, though. Instead, that honour goes to the sound they make when you hit them, a chiming ring that sounds almost like the cymbal on a drum kit. There are theories, but we aren't completely sure why they make this strange noise. One person investigating them, though, found that they're making it on their own. When you hit a single rock, it lets out a low-frequency tone that can't be heard by human ears. When you put them together, though, the tones interact, and that's the sound that we actually hear. Twin Town Experts who visited the remote tropical village of Kadini in Kerala have been left scratching their heads over the phenomenon that's seen almost six times as many twins born than the global average. Baffled doctors are trying to unravel the mystery of this Indian village boasting more than 220 sets of twins born to just 2,000 families. In 2008 alone, 15 pairs of twins were born in the village out of 300 healthy deliveries, and this year is expected to top that number. In the last five years alone, up to 60 pairs of twins have been born, with a rate of twins increasing year on year. What's fascinating is the increasing number of twins with each passing year. Some speculate that it's the chemicals in the water that's causing the birth of twins, but the truth of the fact is that no one knows the answer to this mystery. For now, Kadini remains an unsolved mystery. Amazing Mount Roraima We're all aware that mountains are formed when two tectonic plates crash and buckle up the earth, but if that's the only theory we've got, how do we explain this perfectly flat plateau of Mount Roraima? Correctly titled the Tabletop Mountain, this rock is the highest point of the Pacaraima mountain chain of South America. The massive plateau is around 20 square miles in size and is more than 9,200 feet tall. Explorers and researchers find it quite difficult to scale the peak of this mountain. So, how come Roraima is flat? The answer is that this mountain didn't rise from the ground. Researchers think that this mountain began to form when sand settled down and started to form a rock called sandstone at the bottom of the oceans. Scientists believe this was around 2 billion years ago. This means it took almost half of the Earth's life, according to their dating, for this to occur. After the level of the ocean dropped, erosion chiseled down the area surrounding the plateau, and this is how the ancient flat mountain is believed to have come into being. If that wasn't enough to excite you, let us tell you that this mountain is also home to thousands of animal and plant species that are exclusive to this area and aren't found anywhere else in the entire world. Underwater River 
Confused? You're not alone. Imagine swimming deep in the ocean only to find a river in the middle of the ocean. Yep, that's what happened to the deep sea divers who explored this site. There's a river that lies at the bottom of the Black Sea that has waves, rapids, waterfalls and everything you'd typically expect from an above ground river. While the river underneath the Black Sea is one of the most popular ones, several more exist, including one under the sea in Mexico. It's such an interesting phenomenon to study. Devil's Kettle As far as natural mysteries go, the Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is one of the most intriguing ones. At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up colours. It was a futile effort, nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try it with ping-pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the heck is going on? We all know that the laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere. Even if it's being stored underground, there should be markings and it should be traceable. Aliens, parallel universe, glitch in our programming, some Mayan trick. Your guess is as good as mine. A peculiar pond. Ponds are usually deep blue or green in colour depending on the amount and the kind of vegetation present in them. But this one is coloured quite differently as compared to the others. Located in Hokkaido, Japan, the blue pond is extremely rare and it has a vibrant shade of blue that some say looks like it's made of Kool-Aid. This pond was artificially formed in the year 1988 after a dam was built in the Bay River. The reason behind forming this was to keep the volcanic mud flows from Mount Takachi from reaching the town nearby. But why is the colour so beautiful and vibrant? According to scientists, it's because of the high concentrations of aluminium hydroxide in the water that's hard to dissolve, and thus remains suspended in the water, and also reflects sunlight in a particular way. So, depending on the weather, the water either appears clear blue or jade green. The sulfur in the water from the Reno volcano also bleaches the rocks at the bottom of this pond, leaving it looking like a blank canvas. The Sleeping City of Kalachi City of Kalachi, Kazakhstan is not Disney's creation. It's as real as it gets. Citizens of Kalachi face a very peculiar epidemic. People just collapse into naps randomly, even while walking on the road. They also report memory loss, fatigue and hallucinations. The epidemic affects people from all genders and ages. Kazakhstan has even recommended evacuations, but they are no closer to solving the problem. One theory suggests that the residents are facing some kind of radiation poisoning since the area is near a uranium mine. However, there are flaws in the theory. All the blood tests and other monitoring has turned up zero evidence. Secondly, there's a town which is closer to the mine than Kalachi, and they've reported no such epidemic. Circles of Namibia There is an ecological mystery sitting throughout Namibian deserts. There are fields of grass with circles carved in them at regular intervals. The circles are almost perfectly created and can range from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. P.S. If you're thinking of the movie Signs, you're not alone. Forget explaining the circles. Scientists are not even sure of the more basic questions such as why are there circles? Why not any random shape? Nothing grows in these circle patches. Scientists have come up with various theories and all have been debunked almost immediately. In 2013, Norbert Jürgens, an environmental scientist, said that termites were the cause of the circles. But in 2015, biologist Walter Chinkel tested the hypothesis and disproved it. Never-ending lightning storm In western Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, there is a storm that never ceases. Starting at 7 p.m. every night, lightning crashes over the water for 10 hours, 260 nights each year. Nobody knows for sure why it happens. Up until recently, the leading theory was that it had something to do with uranium in the bedrock, although scientists are starting to doubt that. Today, the leading theory is a complicated one. It posits that the shape of the mountains causes warm trade winds to collide with cold air from the Andes. That collision is then fueled by the rapidly evaporating water below and methane from a nearby oil field. Nobody actually knows for sure, though, why it happens. Everything about it is mysterious, including one moment in 2010 when it inexplicably stopped. One day, the storm just died down without explanation and seemed for a while to be over. Then, after six weeks of silence, it sparked up again and has been raging ever since. Potomsky Crater When one geologist stumbled across a massive mound 65 years ago, he had no idea his discovery would spark one of the world's strangest scientific mysteries. 
The site in Irkut, Siberia, was discovered in 1949 and is a huge convex cone with a funnel-shaped recess and a rounded hill in the middle, which looks a little like an eagle's nest with an egg nestled inside it. The origin of the Potomsky crater has baffled scientists for decades and theories for its existence have ranged from a nuclear blast to a secret gulag mine and even a meteorite strike. Half a ton of samples were taken from the site. The samples led scientists to dismiss ideas of a uranium ore explosion as the background radiation at the site is low and no uranium has been found nearby either. This left them with two main theories, one of a volcano and the other of a meteorite. However, the mysterious site has not given up any meteoritic material and the area is not thought to be volcanic. In fact, there are no volcanoes within thousands of kilometres of the Patinsky crater and it also seems to be relatively new. The fact that the crater is alive as its shape changes constantly by rising and falling and that the trees nearby the site are reported to grow abnormally fast adds to the mystery. People who visit the crater often report feeling more drained of energy the closer they get. In 2005, the leader of an expedition to the crater died of a heart attack on reaching the area. No one knows for sure what's causing these strange phenomena. Ram Setu Ram Setu, or Rama's Bridge, is a causeway that's created across the sea connecting Pamban Island in Tamil Nadu to Mana Island in Sri Lanka. Scientific studies have determined that the Polk Strait is a natural bridge formed by limestone shoals. However, Hindu mythology says that it was built by Lord Rama with the help of Anara and the Monkey Army. He had to construct this bridge to reach Sri Lanka as his wife Sita was kidnapped and was imprisoned there. Surprisingly, the time of Ramayana, 5000 BCE, and the carbon analysis of the bridge sink properly. This causeway is visible from an aerial view even to this day. The whole issue of Ram Setu is mysterious and that makes us talk about it even more. It's said that Rama's bridge was above sea level. Even some historical records suggest that it was walkable till the 15th century. Even the estimated depth is around 3 to 30 feet in the area of this causeway. Even though the Rama Bridge is inside the water, the ships cannot sail on it. The water here is shallow with the level of depth varying at certain points. Hence, ships from India have to take another roundabout route to reach Sri Lanka. Ramayana mentions that the Setu was constructed with floating stones. Surprisingly, such floating stones are scattered across Ramaswanam even to this day. What do you guys think? Is it man-made or was it really constructed by Lord Rama and his monkey army? If it's man-made, how do you explain the floating stones? The disappearing lake. Rivers might run, but lakes stay where they are, right? Tell that to the Lugarima in Northern Ireland. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. A few geologists and explorers have attempted to study it, but the deeper they search, the more complex it gets. The lake actually drains itself out to such a degree that passers-by wouldn't even be able to tell there was ever a lake in that very same spot. Where does the water disappear to? No one knows. Paul Wilson, who is a pro in analysis of aerial and ground reconnaissance images, has gone the extra mile to analyse maps from the geology surveys in search of clues. He conducted an experiment to try and follow the trail of the vanishing water. He put some dye in the Lugarima and it helped him trace the flow of the water to a dry riverbed. How the water flows from the lake to that point and back is not clear. Analytics started a comparative look of another similar vanishing lake to get some deeper insight. Canada's Medicine Lake is on a limestone landscape called Karst. For this vanishing lake, it's been confirmed that each year water drains through the Karst landscape beneath it through sinkholes that dissolve over time to form a big cave. Indeed, there's limestone in the Lugarima area. It's, however, not that simple in Ireland as it is in Canada. Karst limestone typically has large caverns under the ground, but this is not the case with Lugarima. Adding more to the mystery, that amount of water that's coming out of the river is twice the amount that's actually going into the river. This mysterious phenomenon still remains a mystery. Underwater Waterfall Waterfalls are some of the most beautiful and natural sights to see in the world, not to mention they can be very romantic. Want to take it to the next level? Visit the Underwater Waterfall. This waterfall can be found near Africa and South America, and it's caused by the strength of the current that pushes water downwards. The scientific term for this underwater waterfall is actually Kelvin Helmholtz waves, but underwater waterfall does sound cooler. But all may not be exactly as it seems. What you're witnessing that looks like an underwater waterfall is actually sand from the shores of Mauritius being driven via ocean currents off of that high coastal shelf and down into the darker ocean depths of the southern tip of the island. If you're worried that Mauritius is about to lose all of its beautiful white sand to the depths of the ocean, don't be. Marfa Strange Lights Marfa's official slogan is Tough to get to, tough 
tougher to explain, but once you get here, you get it. Fittingly, a series of strange events has transformed this tiny town in the middle of nowhere into a place like nowhere else. 50 miles from the Mexican border and 200 miles from the nearest major airport, Marva is a dusty dot of a town with one traffic light and fewer than 2,000 people in the remote reaches of far west Texas known as El Despoblado, the uninhabited. On a wide shoulder of Highway 90 just east of Marfa in the Presidio County, curious people gather on clear nights to view a ghostly phenomenon. As dusk begins to fall, strange lights appear to hover in the air and then disappear unprompted. The lights have been described as otherworldly. Witnesses claim to see the lights dart in one direction or another, change colour and apparently dissolve just as swiftly as they appeared. They're called the Marfa Lights. They're a largely enigmatic phenomenon that's confounded and intrigued Texans for generations, but just what exactly are they? Theories abound as to just what causes them. Some people believe the mysterious lights are paranormal in essence. The Texas state scientist spent 20 nights using spectroscopic technology to observe the lights. Both studies came to similar conclusions, that the Marfa lights were most likely caused by the headlights of cars driving by on Highway 67 or by small campfires in the distance. Although some people who've seen the lights vehemently deny this solution. Michael Hall wrote a piece on the subject for Texas Monthly in 2006 entitled The Truth is Out There. Hall's article explored both magical and scientific explanations for the lights. The Michigan Triangle The Bermuda Triangle enjoys global renown, but in the United States a similar phenomenon is little known outside Michigan. It too is triangular in nature. This is an eerie area in which mysteries endure. Scientists have never managed to get to the bottom of what goes on in the Michigan Triangle. Like its more famous counterpart, this is a place that defies possibilities. Stretching between Ludington, Benton Harbor and Manitowoc, Wisconsin on Lake Michigan, sailors entering the Triangle are taking a risk. The schooner Thomas Hume disappeared in 1891 with its crew, and no trace has ever been found. But others have followed and paid a similar price. In 1921, the Rosa Bell was discovered damaged and upturned, its 11 crew members nowhere to be seen. Theories abound, but science has been unable to find an answer. Some think there's a time portal here, while others believe that UFOs are responsible. Like the Bermuda Triangle, this is an impossible place that actually exists. No life despite abundant water. There's a place on Earth which does not harbor any form of life despite presence of water. Hot, saline, hyperacid ponds in the Dalog geothermal field in Ethiopia. It means that the presence of liquid water on a planet, which is often used as a habitability criterion, does not directly imply that it has life. Living beings, equally microorganisms, have a surprising ability to adapt to the most extreme environments on our planet, but not at the Dalol geothermal field. The infernal landscape of Dalol, located in the Ethiopian depression of Danakil, extends over a volcanic crater full of salt, where toxic gases emanate and water boils in the midst of intense hydrothermal activity. It's one of the most torrid environments on Earth. There, daily temperatures in winter can exceed 45 degrees Celsius, and there are abundant hypersaline and hyperacid pools with pH values that are even negative. Kelimutu Volcano Kelimutu is a small but well-known volcano in central Flores Island of Indonesia, close to the small town of Moni, about 50 kilometers to the east of Ende. At the summit of the volcano, there are three crater lakes of varying colors. Although they share the crest of the same volcano and are practically side by side, the lakes periodically change colors from red and brown to turquoise and green, independent of each other. The peculiar colors and thick mist surrounding the volcano have earned Kelimutu a supernatural reputation. Local villagers believe that the spirits of the dead go to rest in one of the lakes based upon the deeds performed on Earth. No one really knows why or how they change color, except that it has something to do with the minerals in the still active volcano underneath. What fascinates geologists is that the lakes have different colors, yet are all at the crest of the same volcano. Well, if you're thinking that this is the mystery of this place, then I suggest you hold on. These are one of the colors in which you can expect to see the lakes. Sometimes, the colors even change to white or red because of the proximity of each lake with the underlying volcano. However, the change of their hue is unpredictable. Tourists have also seen one of these lakes in dark brown color. Unbelievable, right? Hasdalen Valley Lights 
The thought of mysterious light floating in the night sky directs us straight towards extraterrestrial activity. And in this Norwegian town, the locals have gotten used to seeing a blinding array of lights floating across the night sky. Scientists are puzzled by this phenomenon while the alien enthusiasts couldn't be more excited. These flashing orbs can be seen as big as cars, but tend to vary greatly in size, therefore prompting the space nerds to think it's a sign of alien activity. However, there's no scientific evidence to prove that. Since the early 2000s, scientists have been trying to pinpoint their origins, but have failed miserably. Most, however, agree that they're caused by a natural object with properties resembling those of a battery buried underground, though this is just a theory that's yet to be verified. Stone Forest of Shilin China is huge and hence is home to a variety of unique natural objects and anomalies. One of these weird existences is the Shilin Stone Forest located in Kunming. It's believed to be around 270 million years old and is spread across a whopping 186-mile area. These unbelievable rock formations look like an assembly of stalagmite-like pillars that are huge. According to geologists, this forest was formed by seismic activity, water and wind erosion over millions of years. The most popular in this forest is the Ashima stone that's believed to have been formed as a tribute to a beautiful girl named Santi. Legend says she was turned into stone when she ran into the forest after she was forbidden from marrying the love of her life. The Devil's Tower this one-of-a-kind geological structure may not live up to the fearful name it's been given, but it's actually considered one of the most spiritually significant places on Earth. This famous rock was featured in the 1977 Spielberg film called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's around 1,267 feet tall and is a sacred religious landmark for many national and Native American tribes. They believe this area is laced with divine spiritual properties. The rock has appeared in quite a few oral historic narrations and creation myths. The Arapaho called it Bear's Tippy, while the Kiowa call it a loft on the rock or tree rock. Because of its religious importance, it holds great value among the extraordinary geological structures found in North America. Surtsey This island in the middle of nowhere has everyone confused. It mysteriously emerged in the ocean first spotted by the crew of an Arctic trawler that was close to Iceland where they saw smoke rising from the surface of the sea. They had no idea about it at the time, but they just saw a new island being born. This volcanic island appeared off the southern coast of Iceland and was given the name Surtsey after a fire giant from Norse mythology. Though the island kept growing over decades, it had achieved a size of 1,640 feet within the first week. The eruption kept going for about three and a half years, while the lava helped form its structure and against the enormous sea waves that would have otherwise swept it under. Though Circe is most famous, it's not the only island that has emerged in the Pacific over recent years. Myanmar's Golden Boulder This terrifying boulder is resting still on the edge of a cliff, defying quite a few laws of physics. Nothing short of a miracle, this boulder in Myanmar is considered sacred by the locals and is painted with gold. It may seem like a scene from a movie, but the boulder sits half-fixed at the edge of this cliff that you see, while the other half is suspended in the air. It might be an astonishing sight, but this boulder is an accident waiting to happen. It could slip and fall any day and crush whomever is unlucky enough to be caught underneath it. This 25-foot-tall rock sees thousands of visitors daily, most of whom are pilgrims curious to witness this mysterious spiritual rock. Legend says this boulder is placed over a single strand of Buddha's hair, which is the reason why it defies gravity and doesn't fall down the cliff. Sala de Uyuni This one looks like a scene from a science fiction film, but let us assure you, despite being an extremely inhospitable salt flat, Sala de Uyuni is as real as it gets. It's located in Bolivia and is considered one of the most stunning natural formations found in South America. This wonderful vista covers an area of 4,050 square miles. It has officially been deemed the largest salt flat in the world. Scientists claim this flat formed when a prehistoric lake evaporated millions of years ago, leaving behind this thick layer of salt, extending so far it's unbelievable. And when this gets covered by a layer of water coming from the enemy overflowing water bodies, it turns into a reflective surface and gives the impression of a natural mirror facing the sky. Gebekli Tepe Scientists believe that humanity branched out to form a society in a very calculated and structured manner. They say that initially man invented farming, which in turn led to the invention of building and permanent settlements with a communal life, after which religion and culture found their way to these communities. But the discovery of Gobekli Tepe has left a question mark on this entire timeline. 
Situated close to the city of Urfa in Turkey, these remains of a 12,000-year-old temple tell an entirely different story about how civilization began. The remaining pillars can be seen having many fine carvings, mostly for animals like lions, scorpions, and vultures. According to experts, this was a place of worship and is even older than the Neolithic structures including Stonehenge. But the most incredible fact about this temple is that it was built before humans even began farming in this region. How the ancient people who lived off of hunted game were able to become devoted worshippers without forming settlements and growing their own food is beyond the understanding of scientists. Some analysts suggest that this is some kind of a memorial spot or a spiritual site for the hunters to defeat their fears of the wild beasts encroaching on their territories. Others think that this site indicated that civilization came into being much earlier than we currently believe it did. Will we ever know? The Blue Volcano The peak of Kawaijen Volcano of Java, Indonesia just looks like a usual volcano crater during the daytime, but at night the same crater transforms into something unbelievable. The mountain lights up with blue flames at the summit about 9,200 feet above sea level. This gives the impression that neon blue lava is coming out of the peak. But what happens is that the enormous sulfur reserved in the Kawaijen volcano, present in gas, liquid, and solid form, escapes the cracks in the surface and comes in contact with oxygen in the air. This sets the sulfur on fire and it burns blue and also at a lower temperature than other fuels, therefore creating this stunning visual. Though the sulfur is burning continuously, the flames are only visible in the darkness. The local sulfur miners use this nighttime blue light to help them navigate the area for gathering solid rock like sulfur reserves at night. Hang Son Doon Also known as the deepest and longest cavern on planet Earth, Hang Son Doon is situated close to the Vietnam border. This cave is among the largest natural caves of the world and is home to the greatest system of cave passages humanity has ever seen. The name of this cave means the Cave of the Mountain River, and it's called so because of the enormous subterranean river that flows through the internal rock. Analysts estimated that this cave is around 2 to 5 million years old. It's carved of limestone mainly and was discovered initially in 1991 by a local. Later in 2009, British cavers mapped out and explored this system, only to find out that it connects to a huge number of underground rivers and other cave systems in the vicinity. The Cocooned Trees Floods in the year 2010 caused a whole lot of destruction in Pakistan, leading to mass displacements. Except humans weren't the only ones to migrate. Millions of spiders had to abandon their low-lying webs and climb into the trees. These poor insects were just trying to survive like everyone, but in their search for shelter they created some thick and weird-looking webs that cocooned entire trees. Though spiders weren't the only ones who contributed to these unique formations around the trees, others like moth larvae were also involved. Besides Pakistan, this phenomenon has also been observed in Australia in 2012 when floods struck Wagga Wagga. The stuff you see blanketing the fields is all spiderwebs. These spiderwebs from the Linafidae family release strands of web in the wind that then glide away. You all may be thinking the mud volcano was a joke as compared to flying spiders now. The Yellowstone Supervolcano Yellowstone National Park is famous for being one of the most breathtaking places on our planet. But this natural wonder also boasts incredibly dangerous geographic formations in the world, too. The supervolcano of Yellowstone has kept scientists on the edge for decades now. The threat of this volcano erupting won't let them sleep peacefully at night. The colossal volcano and the impending explosion makes it the most dangerous volcano on Earth. The last eruption of this volcano was dated by scientists back to 640,000 years ago, while the first ever eruption of this supervolcano occurred around 2.1 million years ago, according to scientists. Since the last event, the volcano may seem fairly dormant with just some non-eruptive moments and lava flow. It's hardly dead or benign, though. The geysers of this volcano are evidence of the volcanic activity still booming and thriving underground. That's why the volcano is strictly monitored for even the tiniest bit of movement continuously by a team of geologists. In case it explodes, humanity may require several centuries to recover from the impact. Pamukkale Hot Springs Turkey is an ancient country that boasts one of the richest cultures and landscapes in the world. The Pamukkale Hot Springs are a unique geological formation that you won't find anywhere else. This small town in western Turkey is famous worldwide for its spring waters enriched with minerals. This water flows down a series of shimmering white terraces. The temperature of these springs is perfect in all seasons. 
The heat of these springs can be attributed to the underground volcanic and thermal activity occurring in the region. In total, there are 17 hot water springs in this place, and tourists from across the world pool in here every year to relax. Not to mention that a lot of them believe that this water has healing powers. Floating Islands of Loch Tak Lake Another wonder of nature situated in India is the Loch Tak Lake. It's the greatest and only freshwater lake in northeastern India. This lake has some pretty strange natural formations, resembling mini islands inside it. The mysterious series of floating islands is called Pumdis. These are circular and mostly made of vegetation, soil, and decomposing organic matter. These tend to function as a trampoline due to the sponge-like surface they've developed over time. Thousands of these tiny islands are dispersed across the lake. This water body is significant for supplying drinking and cultivating water to the locals of the area. The underwater ecosystem of this lake is pretty amazing too, and the local fishermen catch around 6.6 .6 million fish from there annually. Red Beach in Panjin Here's another wonderful and breathtaking scenery from China. This blood-red beach is a bizarre waterway situated on the Shuangtai Zi River estuary. This unique coloring can be attributed to the excessive saline content and super-high alkaline levels in the soil and water. Because of this chemical change, almost no species of plants can grow here as they can't form roots in toxic conditions. Well, except for this one plant that has adapted well to the situation and is thriving in the area. The sea blight is a succulent that's exclusive to this red beach, which is probably called so because of the bright red color of this abundant plant. The Centralia Mine Located in Pennsylvania, Centralia used to be a vibrant town bustling with life and activity. Coal mining was their main and thriving industry, but as it turns out, the coal that fed the entire town was eventually what became the reason it burned down to ashes. Nowadays, the ground under this ghost town is literally on fire. If you visit this place, you will come across smoke being emitted from the ground at quite a few places. But how did the ground underneath catch fire? Well, it was in May 1962 that the contents of a local landfill were being burnt down. Accidentally, the fire somehow reached the coal mines below and sparked a huge fire in these mines. The flames spread across the entire system of mines and consumed the enormous coal seams running through the underground tunnels. Yes, whether you believe it or not, that's true. This fire has been ablaze since the year 1962. This means these mines have been burning for over 50 years. The fire spread so far and got so out of control that the residents failed to put it out, despite trying every method possible. Over time, the ground under the streets got hotter. The temperature reached a scathing 900 degrees Fahrenheit. It got harder for people to survive in these adverse conditions. By the year 1981, the graves of the local cemetery were also lost to this fire, and huge sinkholes had formed in the ground that were throwing out smoke. Taking into account the dire situation and for the sake of the safety of residents, the government bought out the city in 1992, and since then it lays abandoned except for the seven people who refuse to leave their homes and still live here as the fire slowly consumes the town. Hoover Dam Defying Gravity This popular tourist attraction of Nevada has some quite unusual features. Built to control and harness the power of the Colorado River, the dam is about 726 feet in height. For perspective, that's more than twice the height of the Statue of Liberty. The unique construction of the funnel structure of the dam that directs the wind into a strong updraft produces a fake anti-gravity-like situation. You can see in the footage as the water flows upwards, seemingly defying gravity. You can see a lot of videos of people testing out this cool feature on the internet. Would you like to try it too? Tell us in the comments. The Door to Hell In the barren desert of Turkmenistan lies what can be considered a literal portal to hell. This enormous gaping crater raging with fire is called Davarza Crater. This nightmare is about 100 feet deep and has quite an intriguing origin story. In 1971, a Soviet drilling operation went terribly wrong and resulted in the opening of this massive crater. It's about 225 feet wide. The Soviets were drilling to extract natural gas, a resource Turkmenistan is pretty rich in. But the gas leaking out of this crater became a huge problem as the build-up of this gas could poison the residents of the area or even cause an incredibly big explosion. They tried burning it off, hoping the gas would burn and vanish, but they had no idea how big this reserve of gas actually was. While they expected the crater to burn for a few weeks, then die down, what happened instead was that it continued to burn for tens of years and is still burning. This means it's been ablaze for more than four decades. Though there are no official records to support this theory or to prove that this incident was what led to the formation of this hellish crater. Maybe it's the devil's doing?
who can say for sure. Bizarre Blue Hole Belize has a coastline that mesmerizes just anyone. Well, that is until you come across this huge dark spot on the shore. It may seem like the eye of an enormous sea monster or an actual black hole in the bed. Also called Dean's Blue Hole, it's a nightmarish sinkhole that's filled with water. The lighter shores seem to be shallower and the hole does appear small, but it actually leads down to an underground cavern. The cave is around 330 feet in diameter and 663 feet deep. That's actually deep enough to accommodate a 60-story building inside it. This deep hole should scare away all swimmers, but divers actually love to take up the challenge of diving here, and they tend to do it without any breathing equipment. No one has managed to hit the bottom yet, but one diver did manage to swim down 331 feet in this dark pit. That's extreme. According to scientists, this bottleneck came into being during the previous ice ages, when the sea level was nearly 400 feet lower than it is in modern times. The surrounding limestone was dissolved away by the groundwater, leading to the collapse of a part of the ceiling. And when the sea levels rose, the cavern got filled with water. Ridiculous Rocks only geologists tend to find rocks interesting, but this one mega rock has caught the attention of masses as it defies all the laws of nature and physics. Known as the Al Nasla Rock Formation, this is located in Al Tama, Saudi Arabia. Though it seems like this rock has been carved by an instrument straight down the middle, the slit is surprisingly completely natural. At the base, two small pedestals are separating the crazy boulders from the ground. It looks like a piece of art with the way these massive rocks rest on tiny pedestals and that slit seems to have been carved out by an accurate laser. Geologists think that this split resulted from some sort of massive tectonic motion many thousands of years ago, shifting the ground underneath, causing the rock to split. Another theory states that this rock may have been part of an underground fault line. The internet conspiracy theorists, however, like to think that aliens with laser beams were what caused the rock to split. Moving Mountains most mountains tend to change their position annually, though only by a few millimeters. This happens as the tectonic plates ground together in slow motion. But unlike these mountains, in Tanzania there's a mountain range that's moving at an unbelievable speed of 55 feet per year. However, if you look at them, they don't look much like mountains. They're better off being called the Shifting Dunes. Located in the Ngorongoro Conservation of Tanzania, these 33-foot-tall and 330-foot-wide mounds shift uniquely. Their sand is comparatively darker than the surrounding landscape. This is because the sand is enriched with an enormous amount of strongly magnetized volcanic ash. The magnetic property is so strong that throwing the sand in the air will cause it to clump and join the dune again. Therefore, when the dune sand is dragged by strong winds, it tends to stick together and that's probably how these dunes are moving so fast. One thing scientists had a hard time explaining is how this ash came to exist here in the first place. But when the drag marks were tracked, they were found to have originated from the now extinct Ngorongoro volcano that they believe had erupted around 2.5 million years ago. Phenomenal Fingal's Cave This site in Scotland will make you doubt your visual abilities for a good few moments. Known as the Isle of Staffa, this island appears to be perched above a jungle of hexagonal-shaped stilts it may look man-made, but in reality, it's a completely natural formation. The hexagonal structure is of volcanic origin and is basically columns of basalt. These were believed to have been created around 50 million years ago when the island was seemingly formed. A layer of smooth, well-mixed lava cooled evenly, and while that happened, each part of the lava shrank while pulling itself into evenly spaced centers. Hence, the fractured appearance of chunky, cooled lava. This phenomenon is called columnar jointing. The island also boasts a fascinating cavern called Fingal's Cave, which opens like a mouth lined with teeth made of hexagonal basalt. The cave came into being after a tilt in the tectonic pressure caused a crack to form in the basalt, which was eroded by the sea over the years to form this cave. There's a perfect path carved on the edge that seems man-made. The Eye of the Sahara Undoubtedly the largest and hottest desert in the entire world, the Sahara Desert covers an area of about 3.6 million square miles. However, the entire desert isn't made of parched earth and sand. In Mauritania, the Saharan sands have led to the formation of a supersized structure that looks like a giant eye when viewed aerially. Stretching around 25 miles in diameter, this eye is actually visible from space. But what is this eye doing in the middle of the Saharan Desert? Well, it's not an actual eye, we can say that for sure. 
Scientists think that this weird formation is an old volcanic dome that formed around 100 million years ago. Slowly building pressure from an expanding magma pocket forced this point in the Earth's crust to bulge, but this didn't explode, and they think that after 100 million years of getting eroded by the sand, this eye came into being. This erosion did wear the bulge down, revealing the onion-like rock layer beneath. This layer looks like a set of concentric circles carved in the land. This may seem plausible, but it's still a theory, as some think this might be the impact site of a meteor. We sure would like to know what the cause was. Silphra Rift It's the only place on the planet where it's possible to swim directly between the two continents, North America and Europe. It's the place where the two massive tectonic plates meet and are slowly drifting apart at around 2 centimetres every year, causing earthquakes about once every decade. The rift sits in the gap between the North American and Eurasian continental plates, where an imperfect seam allows explorers into the watery depths an opportunity to dive towards the centre of the Earth, where visibility is often as good as 300 feet between lava rock cliffs. Even the waters in Silphra are unique. Since no rivers flow into Pingvalavatan Lake, the water actually gets slowly extruded through the porous tectonic rock beneath the water's surface. This process filters the water and not only accounts for the lake's incredible clarity, but also makes the lake mostly safe to drink. Pushing water through stone is not very quick no matter how porous the rock, so it takes between 50 to 100 years for the liquid to become part of the lake. Each drop of water in Silphra is likely over a century old. Photos of Silphra abound, and even amateur divers and photographers can find that their experience between the plates is like nothing else on Earth or in its waters. White Desert Just a few hours from the bursting metropolis of Cairo lies a desert that'll make you feel like you've landed on the surface of the moon. Formed by centuries of erosion and sandstorms, these unique calcium rock formations crop up across the landscape like great abstract statues. Some that resemble food have been given names like mushroom and ice cream cone, while others have inspired some grandiose designations such as the monolith and Inselberg. Arguably the most characteristic of these peculiar natural formations is the famed chicken and tree, also called chicken and mushroom, or better yet, chicken and atomic bomb. Only in the White Desert will you encounter such a bizarre and awe-inspiring natural museum of chalk rock. Mud Volcanoes in 2001 in Azerbaijan, something unexpected happened. The ground began to move in an unusual way. It looked as though an animal was trying to get out of the ground. There was a big explosion and a huge flame started coming from the hillside. The flame was unbelievably big, about 300 meters high. It was surrounded by dense black smoke and lots of mud was being thrown into the air, recounted a local. Visible from 15 kilometers or 9 miles away, Three days later, the flames were still burning. What had taken place was an eruption, not one of magma, but of mud. Known as mud volcanoes, they form in places where pockets of underground gas have found a weak spot in the Earth where they can force their way to the surface. Because they're not caused by magma, the mud volcanoes, rather than being hot, can be very cold indeed, just above freezing. Over a thousand mud volcanoes are known to exist in the world, and some 400 of those are in the coastal area of Azerbaijan. While mud volcanoes never grow to the size of a normal volcano, topping out at around 10 kilometers in diameter and 700 meters in height, among the largest mud volcanoes in the world are Boyuk, Kanazagad, and Turagai, both in Azerbaijan. They do occasionally get the chance to show off, as happened in 2001. Every 20 years or so, one of these mud or gas volcanoes will ignite deep below the surface and create a massive explosion. Saltiest Pond on Earth At the bottom of the world, in a frigid Antarctic desert, sits a weird pond only a few inches deep, but so salty it stays liquid even at temperatures of minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The source of the pond's unusually heavy and pure load of salt has been a geochemical mystery since it was discovered during a 1961 expedition. Scientists had generally assumed that Don Juan Pond, a play on the names of the expedition's helicopter pilots, was fed by deep underground water. But a widely publicized 2013 paper suggested that the salts came from a shallower source. The salt in Don Juan Pond isn't the same as the stuff they get sprinkled on food. Instead, it's 95% calcium chloride, which significantly lowers the freezing point of water, helping the pond stay liquid even into the bitter Antarctic winter. 
It's rare for nature to produce a water solution so pure, said study co-author Jonathan Toner, a geochemist at the University of Washington. From a chemistry perspective, it's kind of like walking into the room and seeing a pink elephant, he told Live Science. Pink Sands Beaches You may have heard of white and black sand beaches, but what about shores with pink sands? Though rare, several pink sand beaches can be found in countries around the world, including Greece and Indonesia. As if turquoise seas weren't stunning enough, pairing them with blush-coloured sands makes for a photo no Instagram filter can rival. Hinatuan Enchanted River Hidden in the Philippine jungle is a short stretch of river that seems to pop up out of the ground just to send its miraculously clear blue water out to the sea. The Hinatuan Enchanted River in Mindanao, Philippines, is a flawless saltwater river that flows into the Pacific Ocean. It's around 80 feet deep and just barely long enough to be considered a river, yet the flow attracts visitors from around the world who want to experience the beautiful waters that locals have long thought to be miraculous. Its moniker, Enchanted River, came from a poem by Modesto Farallan. In fact, no one is sure exactly where the saltwater emanates from, although the prevailing theory involves an underground cave system that spits the river out, free of any dirt or silt, which would usually cloud such a stream. Whatever the explanation, the clean waters are a natural wonder unlike any other. Local legends tell all sorts of stories about the river, one of which states that fairies added some mesmerising colours of sapphire and jade to the river. Another legend states that the river is home to a mysterious fish that's impossible to catch. In 2017, the local government prohibited swimming in the main pool for preservation and maintenance. At the same time, they designated a swimming area some 33 feet or 10 meters away from the pool. Travelers should keep in mind that the infrastructure by the river is close to zero. Thus, there are no facilities to buy medicine or food. C splits into two. Kerala faced a really tough time in 2018 as the city witnessed the heaviest rains which almost submerged the entire city underwater taking the lives of thousands of people and making them homeless. After the water from the recent floods receded, something amusing happened in one of the cities of Kerala, which took everyone by surprise. The locals of Panani in Kerala's Malapuram witnessed a new island-like structure surfacing along their beach. The narrow sand strip literally split the sea into two. This is indeed a natural phenomenon and everyone was surprised to see it. This phenomenon really gained a lot of attraction among the locals as well as the tourists and people actually visit here to take a long walk on the sand strip. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. Don't even think of driving through the middle of the ocean as authorities have warned that the sand strip could be washed away in the case of a high tide. Even though it was not immediately clear what was behind the formation of the unusual structure, people are still wondering how it happened. Well, until the mystery is unveiled, people are enjoying a walk on this making it a memorable experience. Talakadu, India It takes a few hours from Bangalore and about an hour from Mysore. As you travel, the entire region is abundant with green fields and water until you reach Talakadu, which is covered in dunes of sand. Once you enter the place, you'll feel confused whether it's a bank of a river or a beach. The desert mounds aren't barren. They're topped by eucalyptus trees standing upright like porcupine quills, what are stretches of desert doing in the midst of a fertile river valley? Green fields giving way to crouching houses is understandable, but houses giving way to a desert? What's going on? Geologists see it as an ecological disaster. The mystery of this phenomenon is unclear, as the area ought to have been fertile owing to its proximity to the river. It had earlier inhabited some 30 temples, which are now buried under the sand. According to local legend, Talakadu is cursed. Let Talakadu be filled with sand. Let Malangi become whirlpool, and Mysore kings shall not have children. A curse by a lady named Alamalama in the 16th century is said to have made Talakadu a desert in Karnataka. No one is quite sure of this unique place, and the mystery still remains. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.